How are we doing guys? Um, so I just want to start this video by saying a massive shout out to Jake, my lad, and his best friend Jack. The cracking pair of lads, the thick as thieves when they're together. So there's your shout out boys. Um, so Jack's dad, John, I've known him for a while now and he's been telling me about his dad. Um, he's got a pond and due to personal circumstances he's not been able to maintain it and keep it ticking over so uh, they was talking about filling it in and getting rid of it anyway uh, we've been speaking to john the other day and he's decided to keep the pond let his dad enjoy the fish but he doesn't want to only just keep the pond he wants to take the pond down completely redo it uh, make it hassle free, um, less maintenance, just uh, so he can enjoy the pond. Uh, his dad can enjoy the pond, and I thought, do you know what? That's a great gesture. So uh, I offered my uh, my shovels, and he said, "Yeah, that's that's brilliant." He appreciated that. Um, so we carried, carried on talking, and then he said, uh, "There'll be another lad there helping us." So that's fine. Many hands make light work, and all that. Um, and he told me his name, I didn't think nothing of it. So uh, we just carried on talking and then it clicked who it was. Um, and I thought, do you know what, it's a small world, isn't it? Um, many people on here, on here all know him as well, or know of him. And I just thought, you know, people talk about the hobby bringing people together and the community helping people out and I just thought this was a great example uh, so why John's not been able to get up there and and keep it ticking over like he should be this guy he's been there and he's been you know he's been doing his best trying to keep it going why they decided what they wanted to do with the pond so let's get up there let's see what's going on and hopefully you enjoy this video uh, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, we're here at the pond now. Um, I'll spin you around and we'll have a look. So this pond there, can't, can't get it all in on the video, but what would you say, how many litres would you say this is? 3,000 or something. About 3,000, yeah. Reckon? I'm not too sure. But this pond has been going for about 40 years. You can see it, see how it's all bowing though. You can't they're struggling to maintain it, like I said, it's all cracked. So surprisingly this it's just running off a pump and it goes into this box filter. Goes into this box filter here. Look at that. And then through the bog. The, bo the bog's doing the good job on it, aren't it? Yeah. yeah. The bog's doing a good job on it. So, there's John, the main man, and the guy keeping it all ticking over, <laughs> Dino. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so the the plan is to get it all all knocked down. Sorry, sl boys. Sleeper it and line it, and then they've got an easy pod to put on. So that should make it a lot easier for. To maintain and the fish in here there's a mixture of everything there's uh loads of different you can't really see them yet but as we get them out and put them in the temporary pond we'll, sh we'll show you but there's a mixture of different koi goldfish a few different carp there's actually a few st sturgeons in here as well oh. Oh, everything's hiding under the lilies at the moment. But once we get them out, us, I'll get back to you. We'll get them in the temporary pool, I'll get back to you. And uh, we'll go about the day. Some of the guys that are coming out at the moment. Some stirred, a couple of sturgeons, hang on. Nice ghost part. <laughs> Sturgeon. Couple of goldfish. 
and three sturgeons all together. That's not all of them yet, they're still going. Nobody actually knows what's in this pond, it's just a lucky dip. <laughs> it's pretty surprising to be fair. Yeah, look at this. Do you get him in? Yeah. Right, go ahead. Just pull your catch up. John, look at this, lad. John, get on this, mate. You didn't see it when I threw it in, did you? I've seen it. I've, I have seen it since, but... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Like, to eyes. It is the biggest carp in there, isn't it? Don't try and scoop it, just try and scare it into the big one. You got it? You got it? Ah! It's a It's a brie. It's a brie. It's a brie. It's a brie. It's There's a nice fish there, isn't it? For four years, that? Four years. Once this pond's done, you can crack it off. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? We will. <laughs> Barber. Sorry, Sorry. alright then. Yeah, right. Are you getting it well? Get off barber, yeah. Oh. That's a lot of leader, is it? Size it. Just off the face, don't you? It's got white on its fins. Together and start pulling up the. Uh, I want to get it. Something causing disruption in there. It's got it, it hasn't got many places to go now. There you go. You got it. You got one of them. That's the one. Oh, is that a clue we got? Yeah. yeah. It's just like a big dark gold fish that hasn't changed. No, that's, 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 that's a, a common. common. That's, is it? That's yeah. a common, yeah. It's got car park, car park on it. I've got it done. I don't know for that. Go ahead, take that. Yeah, look at this. This is a little common. Have a look at that thing before that Hang gets on. out and see what look that is. Common. That might be a common as well. I don't think it's got barbels, it's the one I gave you, John. Is it? Yeah. Proper black. John. Oh, that's lovely, that. Um, goldfish, that. Like it is a goldfish. Yeah, it's a black goldfish, yeah. John, that's yeah. a black goldfish. Is it? Yeah. That's the one I gave you. Oh, that's lovely, that. That is what a boss fish. <laughs> Isn't it? That's amazing. Good night, mate.
It sounds him, any? Oh, that is lovely, that. Oh, I thought we had more fish than that. There's loads in there. <laughs> you know what you need to do when you're putting them in? Count. <laughs> Not gonna see anything in a minute, lads. Get the video while you can. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, let's get a little bit clearer now. They'd probably prefer it to be there if you don't. Know, it's an easier. It needs to mature in your stuff, you know. We've just tested the water and honestly it's spot on. 40 years this pond's been running for. That bog has definitely done its job. Definitely. Nearly all down now. All the fish are over in here. Temporary pond. Water's murky. That was muck. That was a mucky filter that. What? Yeah, they're all in. Mixture of Everything, bream, mirror carp, common carp, koi, goldfish, sturgeon. <laughs> Mad surprise, everyone didn't even know what was going to come out of it. But, but big gorse carp, you can't see now. But, yeah. Do you have a bream? It's got nowhere to go though, it hasn't come around it's this way. It's underneath the nest, it's underneath. Under the nest. Yeah, it is, it's got nowhere to go. It's going between your feet again. Yeah, you've got it. How did we miss that? That's a, Mad ch that, that's a chub or something, you know, John? It's lovely, that, isn't it? That is, isn't it? Oh, that's it's lovely, that. that. It's mad that that was in there. <laughs> I've got Keep finding fish everywhere. That, that is a Still really unusual look. What is that? I think there's something wrong with it. Got it. What is it? Tench. It's tench, is it? Tench, yeah. What's that? Anything wrong with it? Fish everywhere. Look, looks alright. No, it's all like we've just measured it as well, and it's four thousand liters. It seems a lot bigger than that, doesn't it? Look there, you can see the extent to what that palm tree has done. He's proper pushed it out, so all that is definitely going to have to come out. So that's the extent of where the roots have come through from that tree. 40 years, roots go all the way around. Go through this wall here, look at that.
For me, getting this tree out will just have been the hardest bit of the job. Uh, it was a nightmare. Or a <laughs> dinner break now. Uh, I'll spin you around, I'll show you where we're up to. Smashed it really. A few hours. So the bog's gone. All the ponds out. So the plan is now is to where the bog was. We're gonna come with sleepers along here. Dig this out. Flatten it out sleepers all the way along low just needs leveling out a bit more and then we're going to widen it here as well so it's probably about a foot a foot from the edge sleepers are going to go all the way down and across low so it's going to be it's going to be made a bit bigger it's going to be four sleepers four sleepers high um, yeah, I think it'll look boss when it's finished to be fair. Uh, I'll get back to you when we, get, when we get going. And this is all the crap that's come out of it. It's a lot. We're on the de next day now, uh, just finding our levels, finding the levels for the sleepers. Looks like it's going to be a decent sized pond. It's going to go five sleepers high, and on this side here, it's going to go five sleepers high, and the liner will drop down across the down and across, so we can have like a few plants on this side. It's looking good. Just a quick update on how we're doing. So let the sleepers flat. I'm going to screw every corner with these brackets and then put some screws going diagonal just to keep them joints together. And then on every joint, we're going to whack up every joint with them, them plates all the way around. Not doing too bad.
So because of um, where we took that tree stump out, it's all collapsed. So what we've done is just put a couple of legs in there, just for support it. And then we'll put the underlay and liner, uh, underlay and pond liner. You won't even know that's there to be fair. Yeah, we're getting there. Last sleeper, and then the pond liner will go in, and then we'll put another line uh, sleeper on top. That'll be five sleepers high. It's looking good. So what we're doing here now, we, John already had all these brackets, so it'd be a shame not for use them. Just for a bit, make sure it's a bit more strengthened. We're just attaching as many brackets as he's got all the way around. Like I say, it's probably a, a bit overkill, but it's not going to go anywhere, is it? Well, that's, that's it, though, now. We're, uh, Ready, we'll just tidy that up in there and ready to put the liner in. And then the last lot of sleepers on top of that. Happy days. Right, so that's the underlay just put in place. We've not pulled it tight, and we're just going to staple it to the edges. And pull, we're going to pull it tight, staple it to the edges. But gives you an idea of how we're going, to, how it's going to be. I mean, considering we've never done this before, and Dino's only like showed us or told us what to do. I think we're doing a cracking job. Fish will be happy in that, won't they?
And that's it, liners in. Not the neatest of jobs like, but you know, we'll pull them creases out as the water gets as we get a bit uh finger. Look at this. There's enough liner to do another pond. Should have doubled it up, shouldn't we? But you know. Right there. Water's going in. Happy days. Next door's oars. We're full in no time this, two oars is on go. We're near the end. Whoop, whoop. Hey, got me trainers back. <laughs> oh, I've enjoyed every minute of this job. Not knowing what I'm doing either, though. But thanks to, like, thanks to Dino, he's just been, he's been a great help, like, telling us what to do and that. But yeah, it's been a great job. And I can't wait for to see John's dad's face, honestly, when we um, get the fish back in. Hopefully by the end of tonight, we'll be at some point where they can go back in. I mean, they're looking all right in there. But it'll be nice to get them back in the new home. Fish are finally going back in. So we've not secured these tops on yet and we've not cut the rest of that off yet but water's going up, dechlorinated Looking good isn't it? Looks massive on this screen here, John. Loving life now, all schooling together. Nice big pond for them. So we're also pumping the water out of the temporary pond back in. Up to now we've counted 11. Here's the big sturgeon coming round. Look at that. Yeah, so 11 so far. See, uh, see how many actually have come out. We didn't count them last time. Yeah. Pond complete. Well, we've just got to sort the easy pod out. But look at this. Looking man. I'm going to put, uh, we're going to leave that old filter on for now. Look at these fish. 44 in total. I can't see my screen because of the book some moment. They look well up in here, don't they? They do. Pond finished guys, look at that. Easy pods fitted. We've left that filter on though, just until the beneficial bacteria in that one gets sorted. It looks good, doesn't it? Look at these fish, they've just thrown some food in for them. Fucking brilliant, isn't it?
So this pond in Sortal, we've done a measurement on it and it's only, it, it's only coming out at 5,000 litres. If you think it was a lot bigger than that. Looks good, I'm impressed. Done a good job, haven't we, John? Yeah. Uh, that's it, I mean, I keep saying I've enjoyed every minute of it, which I actually have. Um, I think the main reason is I went into this with my heart on my sleeve um, for a very good reason. Um, I've known John for a couple of years now and his dad, Big John, he, um, he tested positive for Covid and he started losing oxygen. Um, he went into hospital and he was in intensive care in a coma and he was in there for a hundred days um, but in true fighting spirit he come out of it and he's at home but it has left him paralysed in his right arm um, he's connect he has to have uh, oxygen connected to him 24 7 which limits what he can do um, so uh, Kathy a legend of a woman um, she's been trying to keep the pond ticking over and just one day she went out and the sturgeon was all belly up um, so she got on to John who then got on to Dino. Now Dino has been a family friend for, of theirs for years. Him and John grew up together. Um, so he was straight round there and since then he's just been bobbing round making sure everything's ticking fine. Um, yeah, honestly I have enjoyed it. Um, amazing family, honestly. What, what amazed me is they was all out there in force. I mean, it doesn't show it in the videos, but um, there was John's mum and his sisters. Thank you. Um, there was actually, as we was scooping everything out and digging, there was actually bagging everything up and dragging everything from the back garden to the front garden. I mean, my back is bad anyway, but if I, if I think if I was to do what they were doing, my back would have been shattered. I think that would have been the hardest job of the whole, the whole job. Um, but yeah, thank you, amazing. And I hope you're all watching this, and you can watch back in years to come. Do you know what? That's what my pond was like. You know, yeah, I had an amazing time and enjoyed every minute of it. Um, and I hope everyone that's watched this video has enjoyed it as well. Uh, yeah, so massive shout out to <laughs> little Lewis, the accountant. 
he doing all our measuring, all our measuring and getting it all right. Um, actually put a good graft in as well. Um, yeah, good little lad. Uh, proper got stuck in as well. No, they wouldn't just stand around. He'd be like, "What can I do next? What can I do next?" Yeah, nice one, Lewis. Shout out to the the gaffer, little John. Well, he's not so little, but little John. Um, massive shout out to the the site fool, Dino, and Caff, Caffy, and John. I hope you're going to enjoy the pond for many years to come. Happy ponding. Last shout out is to the rest of the family. Thank you for letting me come up there, take part in the build, video it all for you. Hopefully you enjoy this video and I will see you all again at some point, no doubt. But yeah, thank you.